everyone, it's Aneta with K-pop Oracle. I'm bringing you another K-pop tarot reading. Today's reading is going to be about Seung Hwa and Hong Jung of ATs. We're just going to be doing a little friendship reading, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what is the friendship like right now. What is Hong Jung and Seung Hwa's friendship like right now? Ten of bottom, ten of bottom or ten of pentacles. So I think they see each other as family. I feel like they, yeah, I feel like they really care for one another. I feel like they take, yeah, really take good care of each other. And I also feel, yeah, like they, it's just like a strong family connection. So it's like, yeah, they work well together and also feel like they're great homies. Ace of Autumn, yeah, this is a great business partnership. Like, I feel like they they have common goals, or like, or they share like a, a, a similar similar goals, similar interests. Like, they they work towards a common goal. Like, I feel like they're all about bringing in like a great deal of money in. I feel like they think they're always thinking about um, money, maybe, or just like making it big. It could also mean like maybe like a desire to kind of want to like get into some sort of like, I don't know, business venture or something. So maybe they're thinking about maybe investing in something. Eight of Autumn, Eight of Autumn, yeah. So I feel like they both really work hard together. I feel like they they spend a lot of time practicing, maybe just go, also maybe taking classes of some sort, I feel, or maybe just learning from like people in the industry. I also feel like they, they put a lot of work in this connection, so I, I feel like they, they do a lot to kind of keep it alive, make it work, make it happen, you know? Okay, so let's see, what does, what does Seung Hua think of Hong Jun? Seung Hua, what does Seung Hua think of Hong Jun? What does Song Hua think of Hong Jun? Oop. Okay, we have three spears. Three spears. So he thinks that Hong Jun is just someone who is always trying to expand himself, always thinks a lot about the future, just thinking about like going places. So I feel like he's he he thinks that yeah, uh, Hong Jun is someone who's very adventurous, um, also ambitious. Thinks a lot about the future. Maybe just likes going places in general. Temperance. Yeah, he thinks that uh, Hong Jun is just someone who maybe who's very who could who can be really calm, really mild mannered. Just someone who has a great deal of patience. Also, they're just very insanely intelligent. Maybe a bit of a bookworm, like this Samwise. Not Samwise. I f Samwell? I forget his the, the character in Game of Thrones. What does Sung Hwa think of Hong Jun? We have the moon very he gives off mysterious vibes just someone who can be like really confusing okay or just hard to get to know like maybe he just his outer appearance again like doesn't match what's on the inside like he can he can like confuse some people sometimes or his personality can be a little hard to read and we got the three of cups at the bottom of the deck so he he he, he thinks that hong jun is just like a great homie fun to be around okay just knows how to have a good time
we have, but Blueberry Dragon, yeah. Like, it's kind of similar to that Three of Wands card. Like, he's always, uh, he, like, he's, he's just someone who's very ambitious. Like, you know, always trying to achieve his goals or, or has, a, like, a bucket list of things he wants to do before he dies. Raspberry Dragon. Yeah, he can be like a total sweetheart, like really kind, really courteous. Peach. Yeah. He's full. Of, he, he thinks that it's Hong Jun is just someone who's full of life, okay, full of energy. And we get black here. Maybe he, he sees that Hong Jun is a night owl or just likes to find some inspiration from the night, okay? Or just like tends to work well at, at night. I don't know. Maybe he just, yeah, he's, maybe he's, yeah, he sees a Hong Jun as a night owl or likes, prefers night over day. Okay, so let's see. What does Hong Jun think of Sang, Sang Hua? Sang Hua. Hey, we had the judgment here. Hmm. Okay, so hmm. Okay, so the judgment can mean a renewal of some sort. Okay, like maybe just letting go of something that happened in the past and just like making way for something new. So I don't know. Maybe there were just some maybe hiccups between them or what. But like um, they were able to kind of like move past that. We have the Wheel of Fortune. It's feeling like it's a karmic connection. Like they maybe just felt like, yeah, they lived many lifetimes together. Maybe they're just like, we're, we're like great, like homies in a, in a past life. Feeling like they, I don't know, like maybe they're, like they were meant to kind of like teach each other a lesson or something or learn important things from one another. And this could also mean travel as well. So he thinks that Siang Hua is, has a love of traveling, love of going places as well. We got the, okay, uh, yeah, we'll get the three of wands at the bottom of the deck. So like Hong Jun, like he's, he's always trying to expand himself too. Like always thinking a lot about the future, coming up with goals. We have Eight of Pentacles, yeah. He finds that Seung Hua is a very hardworking individual. Like just, he's so, he's so career focused, career oriented, or just, he, he works his butt off. He's very ambitious. First quarter moon. First quarter moon. Okay, so, okay, so he, this is kind of like the magician's card in tarot. Like he, he's a, he finds that Song Hua is a go-getter, like the type that likes to just make things happen, just really pursues his goals or life purpose. Like he is a, he's not afraid to kind of, you know, step out of his comfort zone and just uh, ch chase after things. We have the fire, so he's like an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. So he has like one of those. He's like one of those, yeah, one of these like zodiac signs: Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Like very fiery, very passionate, fearless. Uh, just someone who is full of creativity. Also, just someone who is, yeah, full of energy, full of life. Just someone who also kind of has qualities of a leader. So he he stands out. He's very, very charismatic. He loves the spotlight. I feel.
we got the polar bear. Polar bear, like he is kind of able to kind of adapt to his environment or his surroundings. Like, so he's able to kind of blend in well. We got the, looks like a beaver. He's very motivated. He's very ambitious. He's, he's just someone who is almost like a visionary. Okay. Like he, he's a very deep thinker. I feel like maybe just for very forward thinking. Okay. So let's see, what's the future of this connection? Three of summer or three of cups. So I think they'll continue being friends. I feel like they'll continue having great fun moments together. Hey, Mingo, stop. We got the four of spring or four of swords, I feel. So um, it could be like just I don't know, like maybe just like going on a vacation together. I feel like maybe they might be like, I don't know, like just two of them might go, go somewhere and just rest and relax. It could also mean like just healthy, healthy boundaries, like, or it could also mean just maybe just going out and doing your own thing for a little bit. Um, so there's, there's, I feel like there's going to be some, some sort of independence. It could, yeah, so, but it could also mean just like going somewhere with someone and just having um, like somewhere, yeah, somewhere that's like, like peaceful or relaxing. Yeah, so there's many ways of, yeah, there's like a couple ways of interpreting the Four of Swords. We have the King of Summer, King of Cups, so, yeah, I feel like they'll be continue being like loyal to get to, to each other or devoted to this connection. I feel like they'll, yeah. So I feel like they'll like, um, I guess continue to trust one another, continue to care for one another. So yeah, what else? Dream, sweet, sleep deep. Hmm. Yeah, so uh, it's a sign of healthy boundaries. So I think both of them are just like really, like really tired. Like I feel like, or just like work too hard. So they, I feel like maybe uh, there's gonna be a balance of like alone time and also coming together, I feel. And I feel like these boys, they both, Need a lot of a lot of a lot of rest, a lot of sleep. I feel like maybe they're just not getting that right now. Healing, yeah, yeah. I think, yeah, they they work too hard. They need they need some. They need time to heal. They need time to, just wusa. <laughs> Okay, so that's all I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please remember to hit the like and subscribe button. Also on Twitter, you can follow me at kpoporacles1 and Tumblr, kpoporacles1, or no, sorry, kpoporacles.tumblr.com. Till next time, thanks for watching. Bye.